another alternate reality, we have another date. This time it's going to be Tank. Yo, Fred, you still up? Really, Tank? What's wrong? Uh, I was just thinking of going for a walk. What, just the two of us? What's wrong with that? Don't give me no lip, I say we go. And so we're off on our magical date with the tank. Tonight's enchantment night. All the attractions are free. How about it, you two? There's going to be an entertaining show in Event Square. I bet there is. Fred, want to take a peek? I don't really have a choice, so let's head over to the Event Square. We'll see how the play turns out now. Congratulations! You are our 100th couple today. Oh, wait, no, you're not. Sorry, go away. And we don't get that particular part of the date, which is what kind of makes this date not as funny as it could have been. Let's go somewhere where we can talk in private. I wonder where we're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go to the gondola. You might have expected that. And unfortunately, you don't get the play when it's Tank. Hey, you mean just the two of us are getting on? Yeah, I guess that's cool. Yo, two! Here you are, two tickets. Enjoy the sights of gold saucer, you freaking weirdos. And into the gondola we go. I'm just going to stare out the window because otherwise it might be quite awkward. Worth noting, though, is that I did not recruit Spaz uh, this time through the game. I only mention that because there will be a piece of dialogue, well, a couple lines, that will be different because I did not get Spaz. I shouldn't have to point it out, but I will. Yo, Tank! You are wearing shoes, right? It's just that, like, the shoes are... Pretty close to your skin tone. I haven't really gotten a good, hard look at you in a long time. Yeah, I think those are shoes. Did you, did you just go to Foot Locker, point to your arm, and go, Give me something that? The hell? It's so romantic seeing all these fireworks, isn't it? Hey, foo! What you want to see fireworks with me for? You invited me, dude! Not having fun? You should have asked one or the other! This is the line that would be different if I had recruited Spaz. I believe it would have said, you should have asked one of the girls. But now it says one or the other, because I only got two. Which would you have asked? Oh man, there just ain't no choice. Sheska, Olive, possibly Spaz. Oh boy. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Hey, you don't mean Marlene. No way, forget it. There ain't no way I'm letting a wacko like you anywhere near my little Marlene. She's my baby, my prized possession. Marlene. Wish I could have brought Marlene here. She'd love the fireworks. Why the hell do I gotta be here with a fool like you? Shit, the more I think about it, the matter I get. Damn fireworks anyways. Shut up! And thus ends one of the most awkward dates I think I've ever been on. You would assume that it would be a little bit funnier considering how hard I had to work for this one. Oh man, I'm beat. Let's head back. But that is the end of the date. For those of you that have never seen the date with Tank, there it was. We got one more date to go, don't we? And finally, there is one final date that we can go on. My favorite date, to be honest. It's Spaz. Fred, you up? This is also the hardest one for me to get normally, but I was able to get it done. Didn't even have to go to Wutai. What's wrong? Would you keep me company for a bit? 
Keep you company? Where? Just come on! Hey! This, like I said, is my favorite date. It has the most humor, and that's what I like. Tonight's enchantment night. All the attractions are free. How about it, you two? There's going to be an entertaining show in Event Square. I think we're going to be the entertaining show in Event Square. Fred, let's go! I think everybody knows what is going to happen at this point. We're the 100th couple! You would never have guessed that we've seen this a couple times already. We'll be the leads! Everybody will cover for us fairly well. We'll see how different it is this time. I don't know what it's all about, but it sounds kind of cool. Want to try it, Fred? I don't really have an option here, do I? Long, long ago, an evil shadow appeared over the peaceful kingdom of Galdia. Princess Rosa was just kidnapped by the evil dragon king Valvados. What will become of her? Just then, the legendary hero Alfred appears. Oh, you must be the legendary hero Alfred. Hey, it's your line. Yeah, you. Ahem. Oh, you must be the legendary hero, Alfred! I know in my soul. Please, please save Princess Rosa! Now, please talk to the king! Oh, legendary hero, Alfred. You have come to save my beloved Rosa. On the peak of a dangerous mountain dwells the evil dragon king, Valvedos, who's kidnapped Princess Rosa. But, you can't beat the evil Dragon King now! Talk to one who can help you! And, as always, I'm going to choose all the wrong options here. We'll do the good ones eventually. We're gonna talk to the knight first. I am a lonely... lowly knight. Not lonely, I'm the lonely one. He's just lowly. How can I help you? Defeat the king! Oh, what is going to happen next? Oh, legendary hero, look! What ho? Oh, do you dare ignore the evil dragon king? Gah. I am the evil dragon king, Valvedos. I have not harmed the princess. I have been expecting you. Please help me, legendary hero. Is that good? Who is your enemy? Say it! The king. I want that crown, damn it. Come on, no more! Come on, Fred, I'm trying to be serious here, and you... Okay, now I'm pissed. And down goes Fred. Gah, you dare ignore me? Just shut up! Smacked in the gut and off he flies. Oh my, what an unusually strong princess. And so the legendary, the new legendary hero, Rosa, and our story ends happily ever after. Should be end. That's why it throws me off every damn time. Well, that's one possible way it can go. Now we will choose the wizard, which is the right answer anyway. I am the great wizard Vormen. What do you wish to know? What are the princess's measurements? Oh, what is going to happen next? Oh, legendary hero, look! What, oh, do you dare ignore the evil dragon king? I am the evil dragon king, Valvedos. I have not harmed the princess. I have been expecting you. Please help me, legendary hero. Was that good? Who is your enemy? Say it! That knight is... Come on, no more! Come on, Fred, I'm trying to be serious here, and you... Okay, now I'm pissed, and it's gonna be the same thing, isn't it? Ah, you dare ignore me! Just shut up! It is the same thing. I keep on hoping that will be something different. Oh my, what an unusually strong princess, and so the legendary... 
Hero Rosa, the new legendary Hero Rosa. I keep on forgetting the new word new. And our story ends happily ever after, just like it did last time. Reluctantly, I choose the right path. What is the Evil Dragon King's weakness? Ah, uh, the weakness of the Evil Dragon King. It must be, it must be. Yes, it must be true love. The power of love is the only weapon that can withstand the fangs of the Evil Dragon King. Oh, what is going to happen next? Oh, legendary hero, look! It's the Evil Dragon King! He's so evil looking! I am the Evil Dragon King Valvedos! I have not harmed the princess! I have been expecting you! Please help me, legendary hero! Was that good? Uh, here I come, legendary hero Alfred! I already know your name! And now, legendary hero, here is what will happen to your beloved. A kiss! The power of true love! So, then, I have many options again. Kiss the king! The first wrong one. Oh, Alfred, in truth, I too. Ah, curses! The power of love! Oh, look, love has triumphed. Now let's all return and celebrate. Yes, let's, yes, let's, and uh, off we go. Spaz, what do you have to say about this? Oh, how profound the power of love. And so the legendary hero Alfred and our story live on happily ever after. What? That's it? My thoughts? Exactly. I can see deep inside of your costume, and I know there's a hot girl down there. Let's kiss the evil Dragon King! What? There's the hot girl I was thinking of. Thank you. You've released me from the spell, and I am back to my normal self. Oh, look, love has triumphed. Now let's all return and celebrate. Yes, less, yes, less. And off we go! Leaving Spaz all by herself. Uh, oh, how profound the power of love. And so the legendary hero Alfred and our story live on happily ever after. What? That's it? You say the same thing? I betrayed you, Spaz. And so ever reluctantly, we kiss Spaz. Fred. I mean, Alfred. Ah, curses the power of love! Oh look, love has triumphed. Now let's all return and celebrate. Yes, let's, yes, let's. And we all dance off, including Spaz, who only has one arm out. Oh, how profound the power of love. And so the legendary hero Alfred and our story live on happily ever after. And that's all that can be done there. Obviously, nothing too new there. I ain't get it, Fred. Let's go on the gondola next. She says that every time, but we're gonna go to the gondola nonetheless, even though she didn't understand the play. She's, she's not really into the play. It's really more about the gondola here. There will be two of us. Here you are, two tickets. Enjoy the sights of Gold Saucer. And into the gondola we go. I bet she's all over me. Or she could be looking out the window, not paying attention to me. And Fred is just staring at her ass the whole way. Wow! We have seen the sights of Gold Saucer many times. Let's just stare at her ass a little bit more. Very, very creepily. Can I zoom in on it? How do I zoom in? There we go. Mmm, look at that. Oh, that's right. Dangle your feet everywhere. Like I said, we have seen the sights of Gold Saucer many, many times by now. Fred! Some of which, though, we cannot avoid. We do get to see the fireworks. It's so romantic. So romantic that she won't even look at me. You dragged me along on this date, Spaz. You going to take advantage of the opportunity here? At all? Should I go back and get Tank? Oh, there we go. Fred? Ah, she can't.
kissed me on the cheek. I got to first base, sweet. I just felt like doing that. That's all. This isn't awkward at all. Fred, seriously? Hey, say something, why don't you? God, I could just die. Say something, please. Something. I got him a slap on the face. And thus ends my favorite date. It's probably the one that's most realistic out of all the ones that we went on. At least for me it is. I think I'll sleep really well tonight. I don't know what that means. What the hell happened on the gondola after we faded to black? Thanks for coming with me. You want to go back, Fred? And then we move on with the plot. But that is the final date. Which is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII bonus videos. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. I've been Ballers Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by our betraying Moogle. That my hope. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.